What's going on guys, it's me Zach here today, and uh, I'm going to be giving you guys a little walk around of my 2004 WRX STI, um, in this empty parking lot here, hopefully no one comes to interrupt, I uh, just want to get a nice little angle here in this decent looking scenery, but uh, yeah, so I guess, I guess I'll start from the back of the car, so back here, uh, we have that classic STI wing, that factory wing, uh, when everyone sees this wing, they're like, oh yeah, that's an STI of course and I know a lot of STI owners don't like uh, people with WRX's putting these on their I have no problem with it I mean if you have a WRX you're gonna put an STI wing on it go ahead I don't care I mean it's just it's just a wing um, but uh, yeah so I guess taillights these are the OEM 04 to 05 STI taillights um, I, I do have an 04 STI some of you guys might be uh, noticing the uh, 05 badging I like the way it looks just a little bit better uh, Subaru logo right there is D badge the silver Subaru and the WRX right there is D badge so it just says STI just a little bit more simple um, my exhaust I have an Nvidia Catalyst downpipe uh, it's a turbo back to an N1 mid pipe and N1 exhaust so this is what it is right here is the chrome tips um, my car is a bit dirty uh, you know I mean it's still winter here almost spring almost getting there but um yeah We have the stock BBS wheels on my winter tires. Um, here we go, stock brake discs. Uh, Brembo's, the calipers themselves have seen better days. They're getting a bit, uh, if it'll, if we focus. They're getting a bit worn down, as you can see the logo's wearing off. I'm gonna powder coat these at some point. Hopefully in the spring, and I'm also going to uh, respray the wheels in the exact same, look at all that brake dust, Jesus. We're gonna uh, spray the wheels the exact same color. Um, I just love the way the gold wheels look in this car. The only problem I have with the stock BBS wheels is how like skinny they are. They're just absolutely skinny. These are my winter tires by the way. We also have the Rally Armor Mud Flaps. These are the UR ones. They're as you see really flexible. Uh, they work great. They keep most of the dirt and stuff from splashing onto the back which is a big pain when you have a white car. Um, the STI side skirts uh, Let's get to the front, same same deal, the Brimbos, the uh, Brimbos are bigger in the front by the way, uh, the same BBS, these are 17 by 7, 17 by 7.5, the stock wheels in this car, uh, yes, uh, look at all that brake dust, Jesus, that's one downside having Brimbos, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can get these resprayed, I mean they're not too bad, these got a bunch of little nooks in them, uh, especially on that side where the previous owners you can see curbed them a couple of times, same mud flaps in the front here. Uh, on the front we got the big hood scoop as you can get a little sneak peek No, you can't but uh, No, you can't see anything. That's where the intercooler is but uh, front Seats a little bit different than a sock as would be I have the specty headlights. I love these things. These things look amazing in the dark and the day um, Very bright. Uh, they do use halogen bulbs, which are a hell of a lot cheaper than um, uh, HID bulbs so the HID bulbs uh, those one you about $109 for one and the halogens like 14 bucks and they, they last a decent while and they're fairly bright 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 enough for me to see and they won't blind everyone else around you oh uh, we have the once again the 05 STI badging in the front as well just the normal Subaru logo and the two hell horns those were a pain in pain in the butt to install those are supposed to be simple and easy all the bolts that I needed to undo they were stuck Say the bolts that came with them were stuck on, like it was, I had to use a vice to get them off. They were just so hard to get off the bracket, the grim suit back that came in the car, but we got to work. Um, some of the things that I've done to this car since I've gotten it, uh, new fog light covers. The old fog light covers are uh, very worn and torn. They were just, they were just all scratched up. So I got the uh, OEM fog light covers with the STI logo, the OEM side splitters, same deal with these guys. Actually, I got one of them ripped off in a snow, snowstorm I had here. Uh, this is a new lip. See, I already have a crack in it. 
Uh, it's not a big deal. It's only like 90 bucks, though. It's not the end of the world. Same deal on this side. Um, but yeah, this. Oh, we do have the little. Uh, big deal, I know, right? We have the little uh, quick release bumpers, and you realize that I do not have any rubber on them because they keep snapping off because of how cold it is. It is freezing right now. It's like. Dude, my hands are freezing. It's like 35 degrees right now. It's so cold. But uh, yeah, same deal. I guess we'll move on to the inside. I forgot to, hold on, before we go in there, I forgot to mention the uh, parent wing stiffies. These seem like they don't do anything but aesthetics, but they do keep the wing. This wing from factory, it just loves to bounce up and down. But as you can see, like she's not, she's not going anywhere. Um, get this brake dust off, if it'll come off. Let's so move on to the inside here. Here we have uh, normal uh, Subaru things, just the, uh, uh, seats that come with the S10, the blue seats, the blue suede and everything. Um, they're not too bad. They're actually pretty good condition for a 14-year-old car. Just a little bit of wear up here and right there. But besides that, they're good. That's my alignment sheet over there. So it's a little bit messy in here. Um, Wheel-wise, we have a suede wrap on the wheel. This is from Auto Interior Technic. Uh, I feel like we did a pretty good job putting this on. Um, you see a little bit of bubbling right there, but I can get that fixed. It wraps all the way around the wheel. You just stitch it on. It's, I mean... I think it was like 80 bucks and it's, it's very nice uh if you can kind of see right there there was like a like the leather was going on top from the previous owner but uh yeah everything besides that i'll take a seat in here really quick since it is so cold um we have a builtworks shift knob just a little six speed knob uh this is actually one of my favorite parts of the interior this thing is just so I, it's just good <laughs> ergonomical i guess it fits very well in your hand uh very easy it's very heavy too, it's very easy to slide into each gear. Uh, I also have a Carpoy short throw shifter on here, along with this uh, broad little shift boot to match the seats and everything. And uh, stock gauges, stock turbo gauge, V2 access port. I'll get to what two and I'm running here in a second and I'll pop the hood and show you guys what's under there. Um, so yeah, let's just get to the uh, get to the tune. One last thing before we get to the tune actually. Uh, as you see, intercooler water spray, which is something that it's a big deal to me, considering that the only one that has it in the recent future is the S209, which, you know, they're making a big deal out of it, but the 04 STI does come with it. Um, it, it does a lot in the summer because, the you know, it's a top mount intercooler, so it does get heat soaked. Um, it just cools it down, gives you a little bit extra kick. Uh, I guess they say five extra horsepower. I, I don't know about that, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to show you guys where the reservoir is for this. Don't mind the dirty trunk. It is actually right here. That's where you fill it up. Uh, they use, they said use distilled water. That's what I use for this. It's actually frozen right now because of how cold it is. Um, good, so it's not going to work. Don't need it to work when it's this cold. But they actually some really good trunk space on this car. And uh, since I do have an outdoors channel, I absolutely can fit fishing poles in here. Um, before I bought this car, my buddy had a 2004 WRX, which that little center, center, center piece right there folds down. I need to clean my car out again. That folds down. It does not fold down in here, but I can still fit a uh, 7.5 flipping a frog rod in here. No problem. It's quite a small car. I'm a bigger dude. I'm 6'1", 200 plus pounds, and I fit in here no problem. The seat is all the way down, though. It's all the way to the ground, but I have about three inches of headroom in the car still. So let's uh, let's pop the hood. Okay, so don't get mad at me. It's, it's not the uh, cleanest thing at the moment. I haven't been able to clean it all winter. Planning on Cleaning off, you know, covering up the stuff that needs to be covered, taking stuff out that needs to be taken out in order to power wash these engines. A lot of people get scared to do this. Um, I've done it once, have no problems. Uh, a couple of my friends have done it, they've had no problems. So I might forget some things. It's uh, There's not too much under this car besides, um, biggest thing I guess would be the larger intercooler and the VF48 turbo down there. Let's get a better glimpse of that. So I'm going right there. There she is. VF48 direct swapped from the... Uh, 17 STI, I believe, and here we have little Perrin lightweight crank pulley. No, not I don't have a ton done on this car. It's basically stock, just from a few of the, I guess, average modification one would do. Just some grip speed uh, intercooler piping down there. Um, just a cop pull there and take. I'm um, planning on getting a new, I need a new turbo inlet. As you can see, this guy right here had to putty him on. Uh, I don't want to mess with any of this tubing until it gets warmer. I'm afraid something's going to break or crack, so I'm going to wait till it warms up a little bit. Get a new turbo inlet um, along with a pro tune because I don't like running this car with the larger intercooler and the VF40 without a pro tune. It's on a Cobb Stage 2 Plus tune right now with the uh, turbo back exhaust, um, Catalyst, of course. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a pro tune sometime soon in one of the local import shops around here, probably Ecotech, something like that. 
Um, just a little Mishimoto coolant reservoir because mine somehow got a hole in it. This is actually, I put this on two days ago, I believe. That is two days old. There's a lot of things. I'm going to do this engine bay to clean it up a little bit. Um, probably get an alternator cover just because of how grimy. I mean, this it's just so, ugh, you know? Uh, I did get a new, what else did I get? Um, oh, new radiator. This radiator blew up about 400 miles ago. Uh, it just decided it didn't want to be here anymore, and it just blew up, and there was coolant everywhere. So that was a fun experience. Which, you know, I mean, it's it's a big deal. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's an easy fix, quick and easy fix. It's not super expensive. I was going to go with the Mishimoto radiator, but at the time, it was a three-week delay, and I only had a couple of days where I could uh, wait, because this is my daily driver. I do not own another car. This is my daily driver, so I needed it done. I needed to do it within that weekend and luckily happened on a Friday and one of the stores in here is able to overnight a radiator for me so that is always good um this one will probably go at some point and then I'll go for the Mishimoto radiator uh this this thing right here this coolant overflow is actually meant for the 2008 STI I believe so I mean it works on this car the only thing uh that doesn't work is like the mounting so I had to mount it a little bit different way but it's stable it's not going anywhere um I actually like it because it has a dipstick so it's a lot easier to check the coolant levels um but yeah, I guess we'll get to the suspension really quick. Suspension, fuel 4.1 coilovers. Um, right now, that's basically it. Uh, it's not super low. I mean, it's low, but it's not like terribly low. It's not too bad. It does scrape a decent amount, but not much. Um, you guys might notice my heat shield is gone. That just kind of started crumpling apart. Just threw it away. We're gonna power wash this whole engine bay once it gets warmer, make it all shiny and clean. Um, intake manifold, as you can see, some of the paint's rubbing off here. But besides that, this car is in pretty good